Hey everyone, welcome back to Olio Live HQ, and today we're going to have a little discussion on the difference between olive oil extract, which is what's in Olagen. I covered a little bit about this in a previous video, and olive leaf extract, which is this brown powder and is really popular as a supplement ingredient as well. There's a lot of confusion on the difference between the two, but it turns out there's a pretty big difference and uh, there's a lot of similarities as well. So we'll just kind of get into it. One of the things that olive leaf extract is really well known for is a polyphenol called oleuropin. Oleuropin is, is a great polyphenol, but it's found in olive leaf extract and it has a lot of health beneficial properties. Um, you know, you name it, you can, you can read it, you can Google it, you can, you can figure all those out for yourself. But a lot of them have to do with its antioxidant properties, its heart health properties, and a few other uh, things in that same vein. Olive oil extract has a few unique qualities and polyphenols, one of which is called oleocanthal, and another one is called oleocene. Oleocanthal and oleocene are found only in extra virgin olive oil. They are not found at all in olive leaf extract. In fact, really interestingly, the oleuropin that's found in olive leaf extract is converted into oleocene and then some of the other polyphenols are converted into oleocanthal as a result of crushing the olives and heating them to make extra virgin olive oil. So what happens is you have oleuropin present in olives whenever they're picked and then as part of making the extra virgin olive oil, part of the process is, is to crush up the olives. Well, when you crush up the olives, you actually release an, an enzyme that converts the oleuropin into oleocene. So it's a more advanced polyphenol is what we'll kind of call it. It's, it's, uh, it's a downstream polyphenol of oleuropin and the health beneficial properties are different. It seems as though oleocanthal and oleocene have better brain health properties they have better gut health properties and potentially even better immune boosting properties on top of being much more potent in their inflammation supporting properties and a few other things as well. By saying this, I'm not saying that olive leaf extract is bad for you. In fact, it's probably really good for you, but it is not the same as olive oil extract. And so I wanna just hit on that real quick. You know, you get olive leaf extract and it comes in a capsule that's similar to this. It's kind of that brownish powder. That's about 40% oleuropin, depending on, on what, uh, where you get it from on your supplier. Um, the, you know, the, the dose of oleuropin is generally in the 150 to 200 milligram range. I think that's generally supported by uh, scientific literature. Whenever you take oleogen, you get about five milligrams of oleocanthal and oleocene that's also what's supported by the literature and that kind of goes to show you potentially uh, at the potency difference um, oleocanthal and oleocene are, are very potent polyphenols and uh, in comparison to oleuropin all that being said too what they share is hydroxytyrosol and tyrosol which are really potent antioxidants in fact hydroxytyrosol may be one of the most potent antioxidants that's found in nature and generally the role of antioxidants, especially in olive oil and olive leaf and everywhere else, is to protect the olive oil. So an olive oil that's higher in antioxidants will in theory go rancid at a much slower rate. And that is uh, transferred into your body as part of that health beneficial properties as well. It helps prevent oxidative stress and oxidative stress is, is really bad on your body and it can cause a whole host of other kind of downstream effects. So you want the potent antioxidants, you want the oleocanthal, you want the oleocene to help protect your heart, your brain, to help with your gut health and help boost your immune system. And you only find those specific polyphenols in extra virgin olive oil. So olive oil extract is where you're gonna find those, not olive leaf extract. Both good for you. We think that olive oil extract may have a little bit better benefit for you versus olive leaf extract but I think they're both worth looking into. And if you're gonna choose one, choose Ologen. Thanks.